Okay, so Earth Reborn Scenario 6 continues. All I did during the final phase was bump this up a mark, and uh, the score is 40 uh, to 9. So on behalf of the Norads, like, they have to get like 8 to 10 points a turn if they really want to uh, stand a chance against uh, the Salamite side. Um, okay, so uh, we're, we're in the initiation phase, so I already did the order tile draw and refreshed the command points. So the last thing I do is this is the Scrambler uh, tokens. So you notice there's four on markers, one off, and one uh, spy marker. Um, now, of course, the reason why I get to do this is because during the last activation round, at one point, I turned the radio scrambler on. So I will be able to assign these now uh, to each of the Salmite players. Um, so the ons are basically decoys. They have no effect. Uh, they, what they're saying is that the Salamite players' radios are on, so they're unaffected. The off means that you've cut off communication with the teammates. Now, what that means is that um, the Salamite player who it's attached to can only spend their command point bonus because they don't have access to their team's pool of command points. Uh, so in this case, it would be four instead of six, uh, one instead of four, zero instead of four, and so on. Uh, then the last one here is the spy point. Uh, so basically, whenever the whichever character it's attached to, whenever he uses um, his bonus CP amount on that character, so in the case of John Kendall, once he spent one CP on John Kendall, you would flip over the tile and you would see that it's a spy point, and that would give a spy point for the NORAD side, which you'd be able to use to either uh, search this equipment deck or to use over there uh, to give himself two more points, which again is exclusive to this scenario. Uh, so I'll sign them now and I'll explain why, what I'm going to explain to who and why. So I'm going to put the spy point marker on Frank Einstein, and the reason for it is that uh, his command point um, bonus is zero, so as soon as he's activated, this will be flipped and will give me an automatic two points on the scoreboard. Um, now this off, I'm going to want to attach it to someone that I'm worried, um, I'm worried about either their position or what they can use, and also as a low bonus CP. So I'm either going to attach it to John Kendall, because I don't want him creating zombies, or Jeff Dealer, because I don't want him uh, using that satellite comm and giving them too many spy points on interact orders. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to John Kendall for the um, for the zombie concern. Um, I'll then put these last four on the remaining characters and uh, I did it face up just now but they'll all be placed face down. Um, so you'll use all six tokens no matter what so suppose the Salamites didn't generate a zombie last turn you just have one here left in the open and suppose they had generated a second you would only be able to place six tokens uh, you'd place all six tokens but only on six of the seven characters. Um, so now, from the uh, Salamite's perspective, he just got these six um, possible Radio Scrambler tokens placed on his characters, and he has the ability to switch one token with the place of another, and that's all he can do. Um, so using the same logic, I think he would, uh, he wants a zombie here uh, for Kendall, so he'd assume there was no um, bluffs at all, and uh, he'll, he'll switch this with uh, Hollister. Uh, and you'll switch it with Hollister because she has a high CP and so low concerns. Uh, and that'll be it. None of these are flipped. They only get flipped again once you use the bonus CP amount on that character. Then you'll be able to tell if it's off, that'll be all you can do. If it's a spy point, you'll have given a spy point to the opponent. Or if it's an on, you can proceed up to your command point maximum. Great. Um, so Norad has the initiative, so they'll be going first. Um, the Salamites, again, have command point issues, right? They don't have too many, so they're not going to bid for it. And so the first thing that as the Norad side, what that they're going to do is they're going to spend two command points again to activate Frank Einstein. Since he's been activated, we'll flip this, and we'll also get a spy point. So I'll do that straight away, actually. So two points. I get a spy point, which will give me, I'll use it for the two points. Point us at 11. And now I'm going to see here if I can get two more spy points. Or two more, two more points to count towards uh, spy points. Uh, so I need four search points. And I got six, so I will get those two spy points, and I'll spend them right away again to give me four more. One, two, three, four. Four more mission points. Um, good. So now we're looking much better. Um, and it's uh, so that was a really good turn for the Norad side. And now over to the Salamites. So they can't activate Frank Einstein, unfortunately, uh, to attack Vasquez. So the next thing I'd say uh, that they should try to do is to try and get. Um, Hollister and Zombie into the game. I think the way there that um, Salamites are going to win is by killing, it's by killing off some of the Norad side so that they can't um, generate these spy points. Um, so looking at where Jess Hollister is, she has a very complicated route to travel. 
Can she come through here? Yes, because that door opened. Okay, and that's what she'll do. So coming over here, I will activate Jessica Hollister, and I'm looking for some movement, and I think I'm just going to come to the armory here to try and get a weapon. So I'm looking for some decent movement, and some close, no, not close combat, and some search. Uh, we'll do this one. Um, so three movement and a search, and um, so I'm going to spend three points straight away. And that'll put me at 15 movement, and we'll see how that looks. So one to open this door, two to take a step, three to open this door, and again, you ignore the wall because there's a door over it, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, and I have to choose whether I'm going to attack Nick Bolter or come this way, and I think I want the gun. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to open this door, which because it's wooden, I'll flip it to show the open door signal. And then 15. So now I'm in this room, and I'll spend my last command point, or, or another command point, I don't know what's my last yet, another command point on this search order section, um, which in this case uh, gives me four search points. Now I'm in the armory, which means I have that gun symbol, and I'm going to use... Uh, my search points to grab this weapon, which requires three to be bought. So I won't pass it or anything, I'm just going to buy it. And I'm allowed to because it's in the armory, and I'll attach that to her. So she'll be well equipped. Now, because she spent her fourth command point, we're going to flip this, and uh, she'll learn that you won't be able to actually shoot at this turn like she may have planned. Uh, and she'll stop there. Um, still a good turn, though, for the Salmites. Um Okay, on the Norad side, it's tempting to possibly steal uh, Cherokee Bill because he's the guy who gave them command points last time. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend two more command points to get him on my team. Um, and all I do, that's seriously all I do, so there's no rule or anything like that. I just spend two command points and he comes over to my side. Um, and again, another smart turn. So um, the only difference between him being on the Salmite side and the Norad side is that uh, his command point limit is now 6, so I'll still be able to spend 4 of my command points on him. Um, and that's him activated. Um, and because, sorry, because he was activated, uh, we flip this over to see it's on, and of course has no effect. Cool. Um, now this only stays till the end of the final phase. It might be best to leave him on that. No, I'll, I'll borrow him. I could leave him over here on the Salmite side, but really as long as you know um, who's in control of him right now. So whatever you have to do to remember that. So I'll bring him over there. Uh, back to the Norad side. Um, so Jess Hollister has a great gun, but unfortunately can't use it. Frank Einstein's already been uh, activated, so we still have other players to activate before we can use him again. Uh, this sliding door, of course, closed sorry, at the end of Hollister's movement. and. Um, I think, I think I'm just going to take some, uh, some spy points where I can get them. Um, so let's activate uh, Jeff Dealer with an interact if we have a good one. Yeah, let's do that. So activating Jeff Dealer, and I'll attach this interact order, and I'll spend three command points on it. Now, because I'm spending three, I have to check to make sure I'm able to, and because it's an on, I am, again, going by his bonus CP. Now I'm using that interact on the room that he's standing in, and I made sure the facing was right when I placed him originally uh, to make sure he could use this. So during the activation round, two command points, make an engineering roll, you get three, you get a spy point. Um, okay, so my engineering is two dice. I had to use two of these just to do it at all, so this third one will give me a third die. And, um, sorry, give me a third die. So here we go, we need uh, three damage on three dice. Um, so not unreasonable, we got it. And with that one spoil point, we're not going to look at the deck. Uh, we're going to boost the Salamite score up too as well. Um, okay, and that's it for them. On the Norad side, so here comes the big play. We're going to activate Vasquez. Um, now she is in Frank Einstein's line of sight, but he doesn't have any interrupt uh, close combat to use. And so... Um, and so yeah, inter interrupting would be essentially useless because there's really not much he can do with it. I suppose he could try and search and then shoot. Um, but even then, that's high risk. No, he's not going to do it. I don't, I don't think that uh, he could pull it off. So um, they won't be doing that, and we'll spend two command points to activate Vasquez's special ability. 
which is to roll three dice uh, while in line of sight of Frank Einstein. And if you get five, then he's on your team permanently, or indefinitely. So three dice, hoping for five damage. And we got six. So Frank Einstein will definitely come over here onto our side, because um, he's not going to switch back at the, at the end of the final phase. He, uh, he's totally fallen for Vasquez, and uh, so he's not worried about his cover. He's totally admitted to being a NORAD. And again, we'll use the numbers here that are in red rather than green, although they're the same in this case. Um, cool. So I can still do stuff with Vasquez, and uh, I still will, actually. So Jess Hollister is at her max CP, so we're at a good, we've been given a good opportunity to try and, um, to try and really do some damage to her. So I'm going to look for a high shoot order and a bit of movement. So one and three is good. Um, but come to think of it, I only have three more points to spend, so one and two will be just as effective. Sorry, and Frank Einstein spent. So one and two here. I'm going to spend one command point to move her six. Uh, and that'll look like this. One, two, and again, I've entered line of sight, but uh, Hollister's at her max CP, so she won't be doing interrupting. Any interrupting. Two, three. So we're right next to her. And uh, we'll spend our next, our last two possible CP on Vasquez uh, to try and get a shot off on her. So in terms of targeting, Vasquez gives us uh, two dice, and then another two here. So that's four dice, which is plenty. So what I'm actually going to do, um, I'm only going to roll three because I only need to go one space. So as long as I get one damage on these, and hopefully it will lower my risk of running out of ammo. Um, so I did get uh, enough and no out of ammo symbols. So this gun's good and ready to go. And again, even if I did roll an out of ammo symbol, it would only take effect uh, the next time I do a shoot order. I'd have to reload it beforehand. Um, great. Um, so now um, I get two red dice because she's in my red zone. And I'll use this additional one to get a third. Again, that red zone that's defined by the outer circle. Uh, so here we go, three dice, and this will be up directly against her armor. So let's hope for some high damage. Uh, so three damage. Jessica Hollis's armor is unfortunately three. So three minus three, no damage going through. But uh, not a bad, not a bad effort. Um, that's it. Okay. Um, over here to the Salamite side. I'd be a bit concerned that Jess Hollister might die, but to be honest, like they're so they're so far ahead here that I think just cashing in on uh, command points like I did with Jeff Deal is the way to go. Um, so I can do that once more. So I'll save I'll save one with a s two interact to make sure he can do that, and um, maybe create in another. S what are we doing with zombies though? Yeah. Okay, I'll try, I'll try and move this zombie to help her out. I guess that's the next plan. So activating zombie one here, and maybe he can grab her knife as he passes her. He won't be able to make it this turn because he's a slow poke because he's a zombie with a max CP of three. But we'll use that. Uh, I'm sorry, so because he's activated, we have zero here, so this will get flipped. Uh, it'll reveal no effect, and obviously now the others have effect because we've done the spawn, supply point, and the off. Uh, and we'll do our max CP here on movement, giving us nine in case of zombie. Um, so one, two to open the door, uh, three, four to open the door, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's the end of his turn. So this door closes. Um, yeah, bam, turn done. Over to the Norads, what do we got going on? They can just, they, they should, they ought to kill uh, Hollister. Uh, that's my new plan. So before I was just going to try and rack up points as you saw when I was starting there. But um, we're going to try and kill her now. So let's get Nick Bolter. One, two, three, four, five. He has to move five so he can use that. So he can use his gun. So that's one movement point on him. So movement and high shoot. Movement, good shoot. Movement, good shoot it is. So activating him. Attaching this. I'll spend one point on movement. Putting me at five. Um, and you saw me count this out. Uh, so one more time. One, two, three, four. We'll move five right next here. We want that red zone pointed towards Hollister. And again, for orientation, you want that combat knife at 45 degrees to the squares. Um, okay, so two spaces away. Uh, she does have line of sight, but she can't interrupt, remember, because she's already hit her max CP on her character. Um, okay. So... 
Uh, Nick Bolter is going to take some shots from there. He's not going to spend any more on movement, nor can he. Here we go. Hopefully, hopefully this will actually hit her. So, um, the shotgun gives one automatic space, and then Nick's targeting gives another one. Do I use one of these on targeting? I won't. I'm going to risk it. So I just need a one from this die. A one from this die. Come on. Okay, so um, I got three total, but unfortunately there's an out of ammo symbol. So again, I'll place a wound on this gun. I mean, I have to reload it before I use it again, but I will be able to do the damage. So, um, this will give me three dice, and then my two saved command points I'll use now to give me five. So five dice up against Jessica's Hollister defense of three. So this could do some serious damage, and uh, let's hope it does. Um... Two, four, six, seven. Again, out of ammo doesn't take effect during um, damage phase, and this is zero. So we have seven uh, minus three. So here we go. Seven minus three is four, meaning she's her card's gonna flip over. So she's she's closer to death, but she still has a strong armor, uh, and she of course keeps her key card. But still a good turn by Nick Bolter. Well done. Um, okay, okay. So they're getting nervous about how few characters they have, so they are going to try and generate more zombies so that they don't uh, lose here by default. So let's get a, let's get a, we don't even need an interact, we just need to spend two here on Kendall, and we'll reveal this, and of course it's an on, and that'll activate him, and um, I'm sorry, I can't do that because I've already used the corpse, so I won't be able to use this ability before I first move. So let's go back to one command point here. And let's just spend one that allows me to move. And I'll move him over to the other spot. So one, two, and I'll get the facing so that next turn I can resurrect that cadaver as a zombie. Um, okay, we only have one point left here for the uh, Solomite. So again, they're, they're very tight on their command points. Um, over to the Solomite side, we still have James Wu. Can James Wu get a shot off on Hollister? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 spaces. 15 spaces is 3 movement for him, so that's not unreasonable. And then uh, we need a decent shoot, though. 2 movement, a lot of shot. I will still do it. If, uh, if I can kill her, I'm going to say it's worth it. So here we go, attaching this move order. I'll do the 3 movement uh, to move him exactly where I showed you before, so just ahead of Frank Einstein. I'll, sh I'll show you anyways. One, two, three to open the door. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then fifteen. Um, so he does have line of sight, and of course, uh, so is Jess Hollister, but uh, she can't interrupt. And he'll spend one more command point to get a shot off on her. Uh, so in the case of him, he has two automatic spaces, and then he'll give an extra die to targeting. We'll skip that die because the two spaces will be enough to get us there. One, two, right? So always carrying the squares, you can't go diagonal on that. Um, and now I get to roll two dice here to try and do more than three damage. So hopefully we get that. Ah, no. Okay, so um, I maybe should have spent those command points differently, but that's that. So three against three, no additional damage to Jessica Hollister. Um, and John Kendall was activated last round, so now people can be reactivated, providing they're not at their command point limit, uh, which is the case for Jeff Dealer and John Kendall, but we only have one command point left. Uh, so we'll just spend that to draw an, an order tile. Actually, I'll put that up there. So one order tile for the Salamites, and then back to the Norads, who also have one command point left, and, uh, so actually, I'm going to have Nick Bolter take another shot at uh, Hollister. Just because if we, if we can kill her this round, then we don't have to worry about her next round. Out of ammo. Um, so rather than doing this, I'll spend my last command point to reload this gun, which simply means to remove the wound marker. Um, okay, so there's a second round. Um, the Norad side is clearly dominating. Um, I think I'll do one more video, but regardless, thank you guys for watching, and um, I hope that you're learning from this, and I hope you enjoy it.